Hey guys, welcome to HFV. I'm back in Glasgow after February. Blessed to be here. Back in a film that's Celtic against the Rangers and got a warm welcome from the home fans. Check the link in the description for that video. Today's vlog is featuring Celtic against the Rangers again. They are facing each other in the Scottish Cup semi-final this time. This rivalry is arguably more heated than ever before. It's an on and off the pitch rivalry. Celtic are more of the Irish community team in Scotland and Rangers are more of the British identity team. So it wouldn't be a surprise at all if we would see Irish flags in the Celtic end and Great Britain flags at the Rangers end. About how this derby is called, I got quite many negative receptions last time out uh, after calling it old firm, so I'm gonna try to explain the whole story to you. A long-standing rivalry between two old firm friends, that's the origin of this name and the derby was called like this until 2012, definitely, but in that year, Rangers were insolvent and had to be taken over by another company they started the new season in the fourth tier of the Scottish football. Because of this financial takeover, Celtic fans marked Rangers as dead and they insist that this club, today's Rangers, is a new club founded in 2012. And they also insist that because of this, the derby between the two can't be called old firm anymore, so Celtic fans use the term Glasgow derby instead. Rangers fans and the official media use the old firm expression. As far as I know, it's up to you to decide which expression suits your opinion more. I've been invited here for today's match by Celtic supporters and I want to say a big thank you to every Celtic fan on the channel for the warm welcome I got in February and I hope that you are going to enjoy today's vlog regardless of being a Celtic fan, a Rangers fan or a neutral. The cup semi-final over here in Scotland is held on neutral ground, the National Stadium of Scotland, Hamden Park. Since I'm a vlogger I try to remain neutral most of the time but there are a few exceptions and Celtic is one of them because they have a special place in my heart since my previous visit in February. That's where I was entering for hearts against hips. It's not the same entrance this time. Oh, I might see some Celtic friends around because I kind of built my network last time out when I was here. So looking forward to meet some of them. There we go, my man. Ready for the match? Ready. Excited, nervous. <laughs> Who's here, man? Football map from YouTube. Cheers, man. Thank you so much. Football map. What a legend. Fellow YouTuber gave me this car. Text of club like no other Celtic. I'm gonna get to wear this car throughout the match. I bought one last time out. Didn't take this with me, but I will have one as a present. It's, it's crazy. So, all the flags waving around here. This is going to be a battle of an experience.
so much passion in one place at every Celtic Rangers derby. It's a unique experience. It's arguably the best derby in the world because everybody is so fanatic. You see, I reflect here on this side, Union Jack on the other side, all the division between the clubs. So much passion in it. on the other side it will get very spectacular now and the Irish flag is smoke over here you don't see anything like this anywhere else than Glasgow look at this it's a privilege to be here Matching each other on the pitch so far, exactly 20 minutes gone, and the Rangers corner is coming up. 21st minute Rangers corner. Jota, 
He gives it between four defenders. Brilliant kill from the Portuguese young man. Gets a free kick for Celtic. Space on the left side for Rangers. Big chance. Cleared of the line. And Joe Hasbro. Right side attack for Rangers. Hasbro. 36 minutes gone. Two big Rangers chances in the last 10 minutes. So they are a bit better now, but Salik is dangerous on the counter as well. So when they get a bit better ball control. By far the biggest chance of the match, this post kick from Rangers. Celtic was lucky this time. Ramsey off before the first half ends due to injury. New player on the pitch, Scott Wright for Glasgow Rangers. One additional minute at the end of the first half. Great ball control. Celtic nail, Rangers nail. Celtic didn't have as big chances in this first half as Rangers. I would say like 60-65% what we saw on the pitch was according to the tactics of Rangers and they got an absolute big chance in the post that was a lucky, really lucky for Celtic. Uh, no, no really big chance on, on Celtic side and Rangers kept on attacking so it's not an as great performance as, uh, as away when, when Celtic won 1-2 won recently so hoping for a better Celtic in the second half honestly because uh, this won't be enough we got hearts against Hips yesterday there we saw three goals after 22 minutes it's a bit of the other way around I can't really see this finishing nail-nail, but if so, we, we go into extra time, obviously, because it's a semi-final. So, boys, get the work done, get a better performance on the pitch in the second half. On the hoops. Second half underway, kick-off by Glasgow Rangers.
We got Matt O'Reilly on the pitch. Diogo is being subbed in, guys. Diogo has been injured for long, but he's back on the pitch now. He's the main man to decide this match. Hopefully. Celtic is pushing. They're much better in the second half than in the first. Big chance for Celtic.
will get late excitement in this match. 1-1. One, one. For a spot airfield, that was a great substitution from the Rangers trainer, you have to say. Oh yes, there's Barty on the other side. Understandable. McGregor can move it forward. Pass the post goal kick. Psychology of the game switched after the equalizer, obviously. So Rangers fans in better mood, and uh, the team is, is pushing. Four minutes added on, 90 minutes over, and Rangers are pushing. Jota's corner punched away. Matt O'Reilly's corner punched away again. Match is over. We are going into extra time in this Scottish Cup semi final between Celtic and Rangers. Wasn't there too much time to make a summary here? Extra time is underway. Kyogo! This has a chance to get the lead again. Out for a corner. minute at the end of the first half of the extra time. Rangers free kick. And of the first half of the extra time, it stays 1-1. Time second half started. Rio Hatate won't get a derby goal today because he's being subbed off. Fair play, man. One of the better Celtic players on the ground. And David Turnbull joins the match. What a save by Joe Hart. This was very close to Rangers lead. Fair play, man, to Joe Hart. Really close. Rangers are the strongest side these minutes. They have another chance. Guys, not too many minutes left for Celtic to grab an equalizer. 
up in the back. Sadik wasn't alive enough. Four minutes added on, last four minutes to get an equalizer. Sadiq Khan got the ball upfield. Taken out of the corner flag. Rangers throw in. I think that's pretty much it. Glad they had the office hooks. It's over. Rangers wins against Celtic in the Scottish Cup semi final. I'm disappointed of course but Celtic won the loss to Derby's in the league and I was lucky enough to experience the 3-0 victory at Parkhead. Guys, we just can't win them all. The match could have been decided a crossbar hit when being 1-0 up but that's how football is. Ups and downs. Psychology and luck play a part just as well. Congrats to Rangers for grabbing this victory. It was deserved in the end I have to admit. They will play hard in this year's Scottish Cup final. This was it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, sub to this channel. And if you could help even more, please support my travels on Patreon. That would be an immense help to the channel. It was a pleasure and a great honor being back at Celtic. Guys, subscribe to Football Mad. He's an excellent young YouTuber. He gave me this carve. It's really beautiful. A club like no other Celtic. It definitely is. I was HFV. See you next time. Take care. Goodbye.